Hey, Shalawam, Shalawam, Shalawam. Shalawam. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kashagash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shall I warm also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the GMS Italy, and we're out here once more, you know, to call on to, to, call on to the house of Yashat Allah, to call on to the house of Israel, our people, who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos. You know, we're calling on them to, to come, to come, come and partake of the what's what's it called or, or, of the of the marriage in which we're going to be married to the father you know and his son Yahweh Shai and marriage means to be joined together you know so we are inviting and we're calling them you know to come and partake of this ceremony you know but many of them you know they're carried away with different things as a matter of fact let's get that um that parable of um of that one that said you know i have a, a oxen i have a in the book of luke i believe you know so there, there are lots of things going on now you know lots of madness lots of enchantments you know move back a little bit let me raise this thing up it just a little you know as i as i was saying there are lots of enchantments you know going on you know people are worshiping the devil himself you know in this season you know what they're worshiping this season the Christmas period, which is nothing but Saturnalia, you know. I, I did a lesson covering this issue, you know, just a few lessons down, and you can also check out the lesson that the elders, the three of the elder apostles, you know, the elder, uh, the elder apostle Taha, the elder apostle Aramlab, the elder apostle Gaba, you know, you have elders like um, the elder Yashawamba, you know, lots of them, they, they brought out, you know, this these topics on Saturnalia, in which, you know, Jake, Jake believes every other thing but except from the truth, you know. That's the reason why the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to destroy, you know, two thirds of the house of Jake in Babylon the Great. Okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. It says, Go you therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, build them to the marriage. Read earlier. Okay. Uh, is it the one that says, um, um, I have a yoke of oxen. I have, uh, I have a yoke of oxen. I have a marriage. You know, you beat them into the, into the distant. The one said, I have, um, I just married a wife. The other one okay, said, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I need that one. That's the one that I need. Anyway, so we're going to get it. You know, because um, Yahweh Shai gave us a beautiful parable, and a likened. It likened, you know, what's going on, you know, according to those who have been beaten into a marriage, you know, because we're being called to get joined together with our father. We're calling on the so-called um, Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos who are the real sons of Israel. We're calling them, you know, to come back to the nativity of their fathers, to come back to their heritage, you know. But what do they do, you know? They despise what we say, you know. What we say has no... Has no has nothing interesting, you know, it doesn't spark up a fire the way it's supposed to do. Because they are sorted children, you know, they are foolish children, just like the Bible says, you know. And that's the book of um the book of um Isaiah 1 3 tells you that you know the oxen knows his father's house, you know. But Israel does not, they don't consider men, you know. You try to let them understand certain things that hey, listen up. Um eating pork is is, is eating pork and all that unclean foods, you know. Eating these things are uh, abomination unto the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, but they don't listen. You know, um, Christianity has blinded their eyes. Other religions has blinded their eyes. They've become they become wars. You know, they become prostitutes. You know, they they, they are carried they are carried by every doctrine upon the surface of the earth. You know, except that which is the real doctrine for them. You know, they go around. You know, following all different religions of other people. You know. And Christianity is nothing but, you know, Satanism, you know, that's another, another name for Satanism is, is Christianism. You know, all this goes back into, all this goes back into the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, you know, which was carried over, uh, which was led by um, Constantinople, in which what it did, 
those who were preaching the truth at that period, he called them heretics, you know, people like um, Arian. Arian was called an heretic in which Arian believed that the father is a distinct being, the son is a distinct being, you know, they are not the same. But he was called an heretic and he was banished. He was banished, I believe, to, to Egypt, you know, where he, where he, where he spent the, the rest of his life, you know. And then what did they do? They took the religion of the pagans at that period, the pagan Roman, which was, um, they were, they were worshipping the sun, Invictus Solus, okay? So they, 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 they mixed everything and mingled it and rebranded it and called it Christianity, you know? At that period of the time, the Romans, the Romans would, um, during this period of, uh, of the winter solstice, you know, which is, I believe, starting from um, the middle of December, you know, they, 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 do, they do a sort of, um, what do they call it? They do the rituals, you know, celebration to their gods, which is called um, Saturnalia, you know. And in, during these rituals, you know, they sacrifice babies, they sacrifice people, they have orgies, you know, they, they get married, they do all sorts of wickedness, you know. That's why you have them, you know, they, they have to sacrifice babies because there are lots of babies being born because in Easter, during the time of Easter, they start up again. What they do in Easter is they, they, they worship the, the fertility deity, which is called Ashtaroth, you know. And they perform a lot of abominations as well. That's why you have the, the egg bunnies and all those stuff, you know. So the eggs, they get, um, they get, um, what's the word? Um, the eggs get, you know, for lack of better words, they get, um, they get fertilized, you know. And they give birth to lots of babies and they sacrifice the babies in December, you know. And now very soon, within, um, within some few days, you know, that's on the, from the 31st night, to the first of um, of uh, January, they worship another deity called Janus, in which Janus looks back into the past and looks into the future. That's the deity with the two faces, you know, one face right at the front and the other face at the back, you know. So people worshiping, following this um, Christian Christian um, doctrines, they don't know what they're doing, you know. They are actually worshiping, you know, demonic deities, you know. And once you try to tell them. You know, most especially Jake, you know, Jake doesn't, Jake doesn't consider, man. Jake doesn't consider. They don't know what's going on. And that's how destruction is going to come upon them, you know, all of a sudden. And that's why that scripture is written, just like in the days of Noah, men were doing all what they want. They were giving into marriage and getting married. They were being married, doing all sorts of things. Because you try to tell them the truth and they, and they discredit the truth. They put it all aside. Do you have it? Read, read. Then we're going to uh, be finding it. Okay, this is, the, this, is the, this is Matthew chapter 22, verse, I'll start from 2. It says, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, three, and sent forth his servant to call so, them. Excuse me. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a certain king who did a marriage for, for, for what? For his son. For his sons, okay. So that marriage is what I was saying, you know, what marriage goes back into being joined together. It has nothing to do with the ring, just like this kingdom, you know, they, they put it out, you know. It's being, being joined together. And it says, a marriage with his sons. Okay, who are, who are his sons? Yashat Allah. Yashat Allah means the, um, the princes of the power, you know. So that's already there. It lets you understand that... He's talking, he's talking only to the, to the house of Israel, you know. It has to do only to the house of Israel. Because if it wasn't only the house of Israel, he would say, he wouldn't say to his sons. He would say to everybody, he did a marriage and he invited people, you know. But he says, he did a marriage and he invited his sons, you know. Are we not called the sons of God? So keep reading. Verse 3 says, And sent forth his servant to call them that we are bidding to the marriage, to the wedding, and they would not come. Can they were bidding into the marriage, you know, just like we're doing, we're coming out on the highways and the byways, you know, calling upon our people, hey, the joining together of the house of Israel and, and his power in which, you know, we've lost our heritage, you know, now is the time to be joined together, 
we're calling them you know but they are they are so drunk you know they are so drunk in this philosophies of this um, of these devils you know they prefer this myth and fables of men you know this is what they prefer rather rather than the, the, the true gospel that is going to give them eternal life you know so this is the foolishness of the house of Jake we're bidding them but they don't listen they don't come and this goes back to the book of um, Isaiah 29 verse 10 the most I has given them go, can you pick that quick real quick Isaiah 29 10 you know because you beat them you show them all the proofs you you you, you let them understand certain things but they still don't get it okay okay this is Isaiah chapter 29 verse 10 it says for the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes the prophet and your rulers the seer has he covered can the most high has personally you know poured on them the spirit of deep sleep their prophets those are their pastors the pastors of their churches you know their rulers the so-called people that they look up to you know their celebrities you know their movement leaders and so on and so forth the most high has blinded them all and what happens when the blind leads the blind they end up in a ditch you get what i'm saying so this is what it is we're calling our people to come back you know to be joined together to their power yashad allah in which you know one thing if you read through the bible the bible just gives you an analogy of what it seems like when the sons of the most high are joined to their power men they are unstoppable no one can stand against them nothing can happen to them you know just like the, the, the scripture is, is written, you know, um, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, man. When you're, when you're in, in true harmony and you're linked with your power, in which is the power of Yashar Allah, you know, speaking to the Israelites, you know, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, man. So once you start knowing your power, you don't, you don't, you're not scared of anything else. You're only scared of your power, you know, because you know that the matter of life and death belongs to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Man, can, man has nothing that he can do to you, you know? And this knowledge is the real truth because it unlocks your mind. It unlocks everything, man, you know? It unlocks everything. You, 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 you're not scared of death. You're not scared of anything because at the end of the day, coming into this truth, one thing you understand is death doesn't really exist, you know? Because once you die, the body goes back to where it comes from, which is the dust, and the spirit goes back to the Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, then he sends you back, you know? It depends on what you've done in that life before you died. You know, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you've sinned, done some real abominable thing, the most time judges you immediately, you know, and it brings you back, you know. So once you're in this truth, you know, it unlocks a lot of things, just like Book of John says, know the truth and it shall set you free, you know. Through this truth, we are free. We are not, we are not afraid of the powers that be, though we need to respect the powers that be. Yeah, but if they have to push things that are against you know, the commandments of the Most High, Yehaba, Hashem, Yahushai, then we stand strong like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know? This is the spirit to be in. So you knowing your power as the sons of Israel, being called back into this marriage to come and be joined to the Father, Yehaba, Hashem, Yahushai, to get back into this heritage is, is a great privilege, man. And truly, getting connected back to the Father, Yehaba, Hashem, Yahushai, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, you know? This is what, you know, Many religions they don't understand. This is what Christianity don't understand, you know. Christianity is just drinking, you know, they, they're drinking the most fermented wine of Babylon, man. They are drunk, they are staggered, you know. The book of Isaiah tells you that, you know, they are drunken, they, they stagger, but they're not drunken with wine, you know. But they are drunken with the wine of Babylon. You try to talk to them, try to let them understand that, hey, what you're doing is wrong, but these people, they just get really straight back at you you know they're filled with demons man each christian walks around with at least ten thousand legions behind him you know in which you tell them something it goes through this part of the ear and it goes out of the other ear you know this is what christianity is but what does the scripture say um in the book of um, um in the book of sirach you know i believe chapter 39 he says shall you pity no is it the book of proverbs i can he says should you pity a charmer when he's beaten by a snake you know these people are playing with death they are playing with snake you know so when they got stricken you know you can't pity these people you cannot pity such people because they've been warned you know no one you can't you can't deny it you can't deny it now 
because every one of us love it or hate it you must have come across this truth either on the internet either on the street because the hebrew israelites you know teaching this gospel they are all around the world man we have camps in germany we have camps in holland we have camps in finland we we are right here right here right now in, in italy we have camps in peru in mexico in santa domingo in the barbados we have camp in nigeria in tanzania you know internet is being flooded with with the, with the truth you know so you can't you can't you can't you can't um you can't deny it you know have something yeah if you have anything, yeah, if you have anything, you can say Okay. 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 This is Matthew chapter 22, verse 4. He said, Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are building. Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fattings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. Can, you know, is it not written that eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard that which the Father has promised those, you know, who, who love him, you know? Peter asked here how shy, what is going to gain after he has left everything, you know, for following this truth. Yahweh Shai told him that he shall sit, they shall, his 12 disciples, they shall sit upon 12 thrones, you know, ruling nations, you know. There is a scripture that tells you that the least of the house of Israel shall be as David. You understand? So if the least of the house of Israel shall be as David, then imagine the rest, imagine the elect, how they are going to be, you know. So the father, the father Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has prepared something greater than we can, we can imagine, you know. And this is where faith comes in. If you don't have faith, you don't see those things. Because in order for you to see those things, you need faith, you know. This is where faith comes in and this is where people are lacking. This is where, this is where, this is where the sons of Israel are lacking. Because sons of Israel, they need immediate response, you know. They want to see the money immediately. They want to see the wealth immediately. They want to see the fame immediately. They want it now. They want it now, you know? Keep reading. Yeah, but scripture said that he that cometh unto speak out, speak out. He that cometh unto the Lord must believe that he is. You God. Know? So our people actually want they want it now. Like like he just said. Before well, I used to I used to, I used to see my brother, my cousin. So he always told me that that was there. Now we need to see before we believe. You know? So let's continue from Matthew. Just keep reading. That's what I think. No, that's four. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 22, verse 5. It says, But they made light of it, and went their ways. One. They made what? They made light of it. They made light of it. They took it as nothing. Yeah. You know? You teach these people this truth. You let them know because they don't know the seriousness of what's about to happen. There is a huge destruction waiting for this planet as you know it. Things are not going to be the same, you know. There are going to be rains of missiles, you know, dropping on people. Those who take the MOTB, they're all going to be destroyed by a sore, by a sore disease, which is the cancer, you know. There is wickedness coming. If you read the book of um, 2 Ezra 9, 2 Ezra 15, 16, they tell you about what's coming, man. Second Ezra chapter, uh, chapter 16 is just an apocalyptic scene, reading down from um, verse 32, you know, it's an apocalyptic scene in which we're going to get, you know, but you're telling them, they're making light of it, as a matter of fact, go to Second Ezra 16, and you start reading from verse 32. I have a, I have a question for you. Oh, keep, keep reading. Okay. This is the book of Second Chronicles chapter 36 verse... Verse 16, it says, But the Lord, so let me start from 15, it says, And the Lord God of their fathers sent them, sent to them by his messengers, rising up, 
rising up bad times and sending bad times bad times bad times and sometimes actually mean bad times yes yeah, sometimes sometimes bad times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling places but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused misuse his prophet until the wrath of wrath of the Lord arose arose against his people Can't. till there was no remedy. Speak on it. That just just um, exactly what, what I just said. You, you know. know. Yeah, like Matthew 20, uh, Matthew twenty two was say you know, no. the Most High send send his messengers, just like we are preaching now. Because the scripture say that the Lord has spoken through the mouth of his prophet. You know. Mosai cannot come down on his own to preach. No, he has he has servants. He said he did nothing, but he revealed his plans. His yeah, his he prophets. said the Lord will do nothing, but reveal his secret to his servants. You know, so we are now we are we are we, are, we represent the Mosai on earth. You know, Mosai cannot come down physically now. You know, preaching to us. No, he has he has a servant. You know, he have workers. That is what we represent. You know. So, but our people despise the word, you know, because they, uh, there's, there's, this, there's this book that said that um, uh, uh, in Job that said, what, what shall it profit them you know, if they serve the Lord, you know? So right now we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are in captivity. You know, our people have been beaten down a long time. So all they can think is how to survive, how to make, you know, how to make it how to make the next meal, you know. So whatever, anything else you are saying beside that is just like your your your, your point water on the on the rock, which cannot hold, you know. You should continue from right. from Matthew, right? Yeah. Okay. This is Matthew 22 verse 5. It says, "But they made light of it, and went their ways, went to his farm." Another to his merchandise. Verse 6. And the remnant took his servants and entreated okay, them. He said that, and everyone went his ways onto his merchandise, you know. That's just the that's the parable I was looking for, you know. But I can't find it, you know. In which um the most I actually, you know, there is a parable that says, you know, I beat them. Sorry, let me let me see if I can search for that scripture. Beat them to the marriage. Um, Can, can. This is what the one I'm looking for. Luke fourteen nineteen. And I was up, I was actually close to it, but I skipped it. Luke fourteen nineteen. So read that parable, please. Okay, this is Luke chapter fourteen verse nineteen. No, you you start from you start from um, you start from sixteen. Okay. Luke fourteen sixteen. That he. Then he said unto him, A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that we are bidding, Come, for all things are now ready. Can. And you know, that certain man is, um, is the most high Yahweh. You know, he sent his servant, in which his servants are the prophets, you know, to bid many to come into this, to, to come into this supper. Everything has been prepared. Everything is prepared. The truth, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has given the understanding of this truth, the perfect understanding. He has given it to certain men who has passed it to other men, like us. Yahweh Shem Yahushai Ratazah. We are part of the numbers that are going to be counted worthy of doing the job. So we have this truth now. We are presenting it to the to the house of Israel, calling them to come and partake of this supper, you know, of this beauty, you know, because this righteousness is beauty, man. This truth is beauty because this truth opens your brain, it opens your mind, it opens your spirit and overall it gives you that connection with your creator, you know. 
it brings you back to your heritage, you know? Keep reading. Verse 18. And they all went one consent, began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must need to go and see it. Can. So this is, this is what it is, you know? Just like today, they, they all give excuses, you know? Everyone has a reason why he's not following the truth. Everyone has a reason why, you know, he wants to, he wants to, he, um, he wants to take the, 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 what do they call it, the, the Vicky Venom, and everyone is going to have a reason why they're going to take the MOTB when time comes, you know? Because they're giving flambo excuses, you know? So this first one, he said he has something to do. You hear this three servant, they all give excuses of what they have to do. Keep reading. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have bought five yokes of ozin, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Can. This is just the excuses Jakes are giving. Lots of Jakes don't want to give up their jobs now, you know. They say, hey, I finally got to that career that I've been looking for all my life. Now you're telling me not to take the Vicky Venom and continue. You know, and all these things is just a snare. Some Jake be like, hey, I just, I just, you see, let me tell you something. Some Jakes are knowing the truth because of their wives. Lots of Jakes are knowing the truth because of their wife. What does he say about that wife? He said, I just married. Yeah. He said, another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. Can. And lots of Jakes, the demise of Jake is actually the wives that they marry, you know. Oh. Many Jakes are carried away by this, by this damn horse, you know and they, they refuse the truth. Like the other apostles always speak about, you know, some of the members that were part of the 34th Street, the, 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 um, the 34th Street, you know? The many of them fell off after getting married, being married to certain wives and all those things. Now I'm not saying it's something bad to get married to a wife, you know? But that's not the spirit you should be in. Now you should be married to this truth, you know? The marriage is to be married to this truth. What's that scripture that says, you know, he that is married should act as if he was were not married. You know, he that has should act as if he, he does not have. You know, get it. That's the spirit we should be in right now. You know. So you know, Jakes have been simping. They've been simping all their lives. You know. Then you have this this um this um heavy fermented Babylon Jews, which is Christianity, that makes them drunken. They don't think. They don't consider anything, man. Jake is totally, absolutely lost, you know? Now, I was looking at some videos on, um, on, on Instagram, you know? And first of all, first of all, you know, here in Europe, they're actually pushing heavy this, um, this, C, this CV, the curriculum vitae. You know what I'm speaking about? That thing that's, that, that thing that makes you have that, you know, injection, you know? I'll just put it like that. They're pushing it heavy in Europe that this one is dying, that one is dying. But then if you go to Nigeria, you know, people are having all different kinds of shows. People are, people are marrying, you know. They're, 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 they're partying, man. <laughs> people are in crowds and everything. It looks like nothing is going on there, you know. That's where you start questioning things, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, these are also plagues, you know. Read. This, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. It says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It's remaining that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Can't. The time is short. Those that have wives should be as if they, they have no wives, you know? And this is not that time that you should go in to be, 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 be having that spirit of RUIC, marriage, my beautiful wife, my happy life, you know? This is not that time, man. This is not that time to be in that spirit. This is the time you should be married to this. So that's how Jakes are giving all different kinds of excuses, you know. The scripture also tells you that, you know, um, it's going to be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle rather than for a rich man to go into the kingdom of heaven. And all Jakes is going after, all his struggle is to try to look for that little comfort. Jake is looking for paradise on this, in, this, in this hell, you know. Jake is looking for a piece of um, comfort, you know, my comfort zone, looking for his own paradise in this in this in this wicked kingdom that we are you know they don't pray for the kingdom of heaven to come rather they've already lost that that understanding they've lost that um that faith that the kingdom of heaven can come 
so they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are more afraid of their, of their oppressors than of their creators, you know? Read. You want to add anything to add? Well, like what the brother was saying, you know, the scripture said that seek you first the kingdom of heaven and every other thing shall be added unto ah. it. You know, so but our people don't actually, ah, yeah, you know, another scripture said that uh, they, are, they honor me with their, their mouth, but their heart is far from me. You know, our people don't, they don't have, many of them, they have the zeal, but at, at, for me, they don't, they have the zeal, but they don't have it. They you have know? the zeal, but not according to yeah, knowledge. Yeah, but not according to knowledge. You know, so... There's plenty of scriptures say that uh, uh, everything we are written for, everything written for our brother, we are written for our own knowledge. The scripture, uh, we remember uh, Apostle, Apostle Peter, he was asking Yahweh Shai, now we are forsaking all things to follow thee. What are we going to gain in return? You know, so uh, he gave him the, all the answer he needed. You know, he that forsake more than father, uh, 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 wives and children, land, who have everything in return, hundredfold. But man, when you tell our people this stuff, man, they don't want to hear that. <laughs> it's too big to handle, man. Our people want it now. That's the problem we're having. So I should continue from... Yes, sir. From Luke 14, right? I talk from where they say that I have married a wife, I cannot come. Speak up. Okay. Luke 14, verse 21. It said, So that servant came and showed his Lord those things. Then the master of the house being angry, I said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and land of the city and bring in higher and poor. Can. So what's going on there is, you know, this, this gospel was first preached unto the Jews, you know, which consists of um, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, you know. They were the first people who had this, this gospel being preached to them. You know, Yahweh Shai himself is from the tribe of Judah. Then remember, we have a whole multitude of our broad brethren who were carried away captives. You can find that in the second book of Kings, chapter 24. Okay? You know, it speaks about how the Assyrians carried them away. Then the second book of, um, second book of, um, of, uh, of um, extras, I think, chapter 9, if I'm not mistaken. 13. Uh, 13, sorry. Second book of um, Ezra chapter 13, you know, it speaks about um, their, their immigration onto another land, which is Asharat, you know, a different land, you know. So once the Jews heard this, um, this gospel, they refused it. They were the first who were called into this. They were giving up flimsy excuses, you know. Then the Most High reached out to the lost ships of Israel, in which appartained also this this um this wonderful um gift for lack of better words you know so well, that's what it's trying to say right there you know wonderful wedding which is actually the kingdom of heaven i mean right now we are we, are, we right now we 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 are we are tributes to this kingdom you know we are Imagine, slaves to this kingdom yeah we are slaves we are tributes everything you do here everything this war was, the scripture said the war was created for our own sake, right? You know, I think in 2 Ezra 6, the war was made for our sake, but, but, but our enemy is now Lord over it. They are Lord over us. You know? And Ezra was, let, let's get it, Ezra was also asking the Most High, when is this going to end, you know? Let's get it. You know, this, this kingdom, as you know, it was created actually for the sons of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, as we said, you know. But then, the wicked has, you know, has taken power. Just like it's written in the book of, um, in the book of um, Baruch, the fourth chapter, you know. We were carried away onto these dumb idols, you know, due to our, to our disobedience, you know, in which obedience is better than sacrifice. The same thing we are doing today. The same thing we're doing today, mm -hmm. you know. Worshipping, worshipping, um, Chesere Borja, you know, offering a whole, whole lot of sacrifices to, 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 to the demon deities, Saturn, Saturnalia, and calling it Christmas, you know. Offering sacrifices to Ashtaroth and calling it Est Easter, you know. This is the same old thing that we're still doing, 
You know, Jake has never changed. Jake is the same. He does the same old things. That's how you know that it's the same spirit that reincarnates and comes back, you know? I have a picture for you. Keep speaking. This is, this is George chapter 2. Judges chapter 2 verse 11 said, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt. Can. And they are still worshipping Balaam until this date. They still worship Balaam until this date, man. Balaam is the God of this kingdom. Yeah. In which Balaam is Satan, you know. And guess what? The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahashai controls everything. He has, he has control of all these demons, devils, and all these different kinds of spirits. They are all under the service of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. You know? They are actually under the service of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, in which we're going to get that also from the book of Finish Reading. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that we are round about them Can. and bow themselves unto, unto them and provoke the Lord to anger. Listen, verse 13 said, and they forsake Wait, before the... You, before, you, before you read verse 13, is it not the same thing that is happening now? You know? Is it not the same thing that is happening now? We are forsaking the name of our power, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. We have forsaken his laws and his statutes, which are a way of life. That is going to lead you into light, which is like a torch in order for you to navigate this darkness of ignorance that's around us. We have forsaken that, and now we're going after rebranded Belim. You know, we're going after all these other nations. You know, every nation has their deity looking like them. Jacob is the only one that doesn't have his deity looking like him. Jacob is the only one worshipping a white man with long hair. A full Negro grown man has in his house the picture of Cesare Borja and he calls him his savior. The Indians, they have their, their deities looking like them, you know. The Ammonites, the, 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 the Moabites, the Chinese and the Japanese, they have their deities looking like them. But Jacob is the only one that is going after the deities of all these other nations. You see a fucking black man, so-called black man, you know, worshipping Buddha. Islam. You see them in Islam. You know? So what's the sense, you know? Keep reading. 13. And they forsook the Lord and saw Baal and Ashtoreth. That's because of that. Sure never That's just that. what I said. They forsook the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and followed Baalim and Ashtoreth. Now, if you go and look at Baalim, Baalim is metamorphed into different names, you know? Yeah. Baalim is still the same as Moloch, okay? Now, Baalim is the same as Zeus. Baalim is the same as, um, as, as, as um, what do you call it, um, um, Allah. Baalim is the same as Jesus, you know. Just there is every, nothing different. They just give them different names. Every you know? generation. They keep every generation, them, you, know? you know. And this Baalim, it goes back onto the date in which Nimrod, they were worshipping. It goes back to Nimrod, yeah. the time of the, of the Sumerians, you know. So nothing changes under the sun, you know. Just like, just like um, the book of Ecclesiastics tell you. You know, nothing changes, you know. There is nothing new under the sun. They go back into their vomit and continue and continue. So you're wondering why we are, we are being suppressed. You're wondering why uh, um, uh, the average Jake right now is chopping up his dick, you know, and turning into a woman, you know. Men are transforming, becoming transformers, you know. The female are all bogged out, you know. They're just out of the list, you know. You're wondering why because they forsook their power and they are going after the deities of other, of, of other, of other, of other um, nations around them, you know? So I wanted to read uh, this read uh, out. Speak out. about uh, the law of the world was made. Yeah, yeah, you read out. You can okay. start from a couple of verses earlier. Mm. To give more context. Okay, let me start from 54. This is the second book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. It says, And after this, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creature, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, 
You know, that's, that, that's a key point right there. Chosen. You know that so, we, we all come from Adam. You know, this is what Christianity did not teach us. They tell us that uh, uh, we all one. You know, they come in the concept of one. But they, 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 they forget to tell you that there's in this Adam, in these people, because when we were first created, we all was called Adam. There's Adamite. a particular, there's original Adam. Yeah, Adamite. You know, we all was Adamite. You know, but there's a chosen people. You know, so that that's what they refuse to tell the people. So today. In, in, to add a um, few words to what the brother just said, everyone comes from Adam. Adam. You know, and everything goes back. You know, you had the 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 the, the, the righteous seed, and you had the wicked seed. So Adam had two sons, he had Cain and Abel, you know, Cain killed Abel, Cain was the seed of the wicked, you know, and the Most High brought Abel back, you know, giving him the name of Seth, you know, Seth was Abel. Now if you go into the root word of that um, Seth, you say it means I think sent back or so, you know. So um, Abel was reincarnated as, 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 um, as, um, as Seth, you know. If you can receive it, you receive it, you know. So Seth, his name was actually, you know, he was part of the, 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 the righteous in which, you know, during his time, it goes back that, you know, people started calling upon the name of the monster Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know. Let's see if we can get it. Can. So let's let's just read it. Let's just go quickly through it. This is the book of Genesis chapter 4. I'll start from 1. It says, And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have begotten a man from the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And she again bare his brother. Um, and she again bare his brother, you know, Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord Yehovah Hashem Shai. And Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flocks, of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. In which, you know, this still goes back to today because, you know, people think that the law was not existing at that time, but the law was fully in existence, but it was not written, it was spoken, you know. When the Most High breathed the breath of life into Adam, that was the law. He was putting the law, just like the brother was saying. We all come from Adam, but a certain lineage was chosen. You know, that breath of life that was being breathed into 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 um, Adam, that was the choosing of the people. That was the law. You know, so they knew the sacrifices in which they had to do to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. They knew the right sacrifices, just like now we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know. We, we, we try to we try our best to the best of our, our abilities to follow the commandments and the laws and statutes of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, you know. So this is a living sacrifices that we we offering the right sacrifices. But those who are calling upon the names of other deities, those who are calling upon the name of of, of J C Chesere Borja, those who are, who are in Islam and all other religions, you know, they are offering the wicked sacrifice. They are likened to to Cain, you know. And through the spirit, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah, we are likened unto Abel, you know. Now, this is what happened. So the Most High took the sacrifice of, 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 of Cain, of Abel, and refused the sacrifice of Abel. So he says, Sorry? He refused the sacrifice of Cain and chose that of Abel. Verse 5, he said, But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect, and Cain was very wrought, and his countenance fell. And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai said unto Cain, Why art thou wrought, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou do well, shall thou not be accepted? So if the Most High told him, If you do well, shall you not be accepted? Meaning that the Most High cannot tell you to do well when he doesn't give you a, a, a way to do well. You know? So that shows you that you know, they had the laws then. You know, but the, the laws weren't you know, written on stones. They were oral. You know? they, they, they had it automatically. You know? So he says, And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So you see, it's a sin lieth at the door. See, so what is sin now? I have a precept for you. Read, read. You know, because the, the Christianity, the, I have heard a lot of people say that we don't have Lord back then. But now, listen, this is Romans 7 7. You say, 
what shall we say to them? Is the, is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known laws, except the law had said, Ta shall not convert. You know, Time. which means there is a law then. You know, that is why Musa was telling him. There sin. is also a scripture that says, where there is no law, there is no sin. Yeah, this, uh, that, 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 and that's it, you yeah. know. When there's no law, there's no This is what Paul is telling you, that without law, there's no sin. Can. You know? Which means that there was law. There was law back then. And also, what is sin? Sin is the transgression, transgression of the of commandment. The, of, yeah. <laughs> so it. you see, there were laws. Yeah. <laughs> when you transgress, you sin. That's why other nations, they can't sin because the law wasn't given to them. You know, the Most High has made them automatically to, to be followers of, of these idols, you know. He made these idols for the other, 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 other nations, you know. So these this other nations, they can't sin. That's why in the kingdom, they have to do exactly how we tell them to do. They'll be, they'll be broken into pieces with, with, with the rod of iron, you know, if they don't listen, you know. Yeah, they have to learn. This time. They have to learn this time, you know. Now, reading on, he says, and you see, when he says um, that scene, light at, at the corner, when he says that scene, light at the corner, it was actually the spiritual Satan. It was also the spiritual Satan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, by that time now, the spiritual setter will now rule over him, you know. Just like when Yahweh Shai said to Peter, um, Satan, Satan, yeah, Satan, desire to, desire to sift you, you out, you know. know. Because sin actually comes from Satan, you know, because he's the... He's the angel that is in charge of that. Yeah. He walks on the left-hand side of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Exactly. So you see, everything connects, you know. Now, that's telling you that, you know, he committed this sin and he waxed more in his sin and he was given unto the spiritual, uh, he was given into the hands of spiritual Satan, Satan. you know. Yep. So reading on, he said, And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. You know, Cain slew his brother. And that you can tell the same spirit is working in those who are still ruling in this kingdom, the so-called Edomites. The so-called Caucasian, the so-called white man, you know, it's the same spirit. They have that spirit of killing their brothers. They kill you for, for no reason, man. They fill your water with poison. They fill your foods with poison. They drink baby blood, eat baby like as if they're eating turkey and chicken, you know. It's that same spirit that is ruling in, in, in these people. They have that spirit to kill their brothers, you know. They don't care. And it says, And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? That's also another attribute of, of Esau. Esau doesn't give a fuck. He does things and he doesn't, he doesn't care, man. He's a liar. He's a liar. <laughs> He's a liar. He lies liar. all the time, keeps lying. Now you have, for example, the, the Dr. Frochi, you know, in which this man is, 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 is meant to be hanged right now, really, according to the law, because he has done lots of abominations, man. You know, during the time of HIV, he said a whole bunch of lies. He was busted. And guess what? He's still right there today, given in charge of medicine. You see? You see how they, and they give you all different kinds of lies, you know, boldly, just like they've been telling their children that, you know, the, the Santa Claus... He is traveling from one from one from one from one um, hemisphere of the world to the other, sharing gifts to their children. They have to put a glass of water under under the chimney to wait for 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 Santa Claus. You know, so these people lie. They lie to their children. Their children lie to their children. Children. So the 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 lie goes from generation to generation. These are attributes of the of the damn devils that are ruling today. You know. So he says, verse ten, and he said. What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother crieth unto me from the ground, you know? And that's if you kill someone that is a saint, you know? That blood of that person it cries to the Father, that's the Spirit. And that goes back to the book of um, Revelation 6 9, you know? Revelation 6, six 9. Four. 6 four. 9, try to see. It says, and the blood of the saints, the, 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 the spirit of the saints, they cried back to the, to, to the Father. Read. Okay, this is Revelation 6 verse 9. It says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, 
I saw under the altar the souls of them that we are slain for the word of God, for one and for the testimony which they had. So you, you see, keep reading. 10. And they cried, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on, on them that dwelleth on the earth? So you see, when all the saints that are being killed by these devils, you know, their spirits, they are crying back to the Most High Yahweh Hashem to, Yahashai to, to, to put judgment in this place, you know? Just like we are crying now. Just like we are crying right now, you know? We're crying, but in the, the brothers in the spiritual world also, they are crying heavily, man. They are crying heavily. They want revenge. And they will get revenge at the return of Yahweh Shai. So this is what I'm saying. You know, he killed his brother, then his brother's spirit was crying back to the Lord. Now he says, verse 11, And now art thou caused from the earth, which hath opened a mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. You know, the earth is caused right now. That's why we suffer. We, have, we, we don't have all this. Look at the grasses. Instead of green, it's yellow. You know, Dead. it doesn't give it doesn't give its right fruits at the right time. They need to put a lot of pesticides in order to grow food. You know, and this pesticide they kill you. You know, it says, verse twelve, when thou stillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be upon the earth, and that is what Esau is. Esau is trying to escape justice all the time. He has gone to all different parts of the world, committed genocides, done all sorts of wickedness, but he's trying to escape. He's a fugitive. He doesn't have a, own, a place fixed of himself. We know, according to the scripture, that his house is in the Mount Seir, but look at him today. He's in every other place except his house. <laughs> <laughs> and answer bearing the everybody, every else. And bearing everybody's name. name except and why? Own... He's trying to hide his identity. He's a fugitive. You know, he's escaping from judgment, but that judgment is escaping from is is just he shouldn't worry. Don't worry, the judgment is prepared. It's coming in a full package, man. You know, in a full package. So he says, in verse thirteen, and Cain said unto the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai said unto Cain, unto, unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon, upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And what's that mark? The most I took away his pigmentation, you know? That's how this and, red, and you red see, skin came, came yeah. upon earth today. And this is this thing is this thing is really this thing is really powerful because if you see an albino, there is this kind of pity you have for an albino. You know, in albinos they don't touch albinos, they don't do anything. Once you see an albino, you have some, some kind of pity to, to the albinos. Yeah. That's why when they go to Africa, all the the, the boozles, the dancing, you know, that's how a, a, a fucking cracker could go to Kenya. And the people were celebrating him like Jesus, you know. They were celebrating him actually, you know, doing all this thing. The government had to chase that cracker out of the land. You remember what happened yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. happened, you know? Even I, I heard that the, the cracker later died. The one that happened in Kenya. Okay. But I heard that he later died. He later died. You know, that's punishment, judgment from the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You don't go and. Uh, 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 and he was there, he was enjoying his time. He actually, he actually felt like he was Jesus for a moment. <laughs> Oh damn man. So going on, he says in verse 16, and Cain went out from the presence of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And now bear, bear in mind. From the from the righteous seed and the and the wicked seed, they add names that are very very similar. similar, you know. So don't get it wrong. Okay, you also add Enoch coming from the righteous seed. 
He says in verse 18, And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Metuael, and Metuael begat Metusael, and Metusael begat Lamak, and Lamak took unto him two wives, and the name of one was Ada, and the same of the other Zillah, and Ada bare Jabal, and he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as Andrew the harp and the organ. And Zila, she also bare to Balkan, an instructor of every artificer in iron and brass. And this is how you know the lineage of Esau through his son to Balkan, which, if you go into the root word of um, of of of, of to Balkan, it means a mercenary, a killer. You know. The one who produces weapons. Cain itself means a piercing, a piercing weapon, you know? So it says he was they were the first people that started inventing all these, you know, weapons of war. And what, iron. And, and what are they doing? And today? what are they doing today? That's the same spirit that's on them, man. They have all sorts of aircraft, bomb bombing, all, all scouts, kind of, all kinds of weapons you can think of. Latest weapon. I was bomb. looking at a video yesterday, they had this um this AI um robots, artificial intelligence robots. Damn, those things are scary, man. Y'all don't even know what's coming on. Those things that's really scary, man. They 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 they, they, are, they are shooting is precise, man. They don't lose any bullet, man. They push them, they hit them with all different kinds of stuffs. They shoot, bro. And they know who to shoot. They know who to shoot, man. They just need to set it and put it the non Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> they just need to make a sense in the north Vanessa and he will come to you. He will just be like, hey man, I checked you. You're, you're not Vanessa. Boom. <laughs> so he says in verse, I want to go on to verse 25. He says, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son. And she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God said, she had appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And what's that? He was the reincarnation of Abel. You understand? Now, check out this, verse 26. It said, And to Seth, to him also there were born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, in other words, we have, we have always known the name of the Lord. We have the always Lord. known the name of the Lord. But the point this is telling you that the righteous seed started calling the name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Then began men to call upon the name of the Most High. So he's telling you that Seth had he has a righteous way the to righteous follow. the righteous seed. He has the know? law, proper law. The proper law was given back to them in the, in the fullness. You know. So going back to the book of Second Ezra, you know, just wanted to point out, you know, these few technicalities. So now you need to understand that this lineage keeps going. And this lineage ended to Noah. Okay? Noe. You know? This lineage got to the point of Noe. Noah. Okay? And Noah had three sons. He had Ham. He had Japheth. And he had Sham. Okay? And under the lineage, and you see, there was a, there was, there was a deluge, a flood, that killed everybody except from Noah and his family, you know. So you see, everybody on earth comes from those three lines, from those three lines, you know. Every, that's telling you because Noah is the seed of Adam, you know. So everyone comes from Adam, but remember, these three seeds, they were distinct, they had different blessings. You know, and they were separate. You had the lineage of Ham, in which Ham is the father of the so-called um, um, Africans, you know. As the father of the so-called Africans, excluding the, the Negroes, you know. If you go to the, read the, the, the dictionary, the Zondervan, it tells you that, you know, um, Ham, let me get it. Ham is the father of all black people, but excluding the Negroes. So that, that right there tells you that these people know who we are. They know that we are not African, you know. How can they make such a statement? The father of black and they call us blacks. Can. You know. 
Now, this is the, the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Now, if you go into it, it tells you that Ham, it says, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96, 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight sons, one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Okay, so you see, he was the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes, you understand? But not the Negroes, you know, because the Negroes come from the lineage of Shem. Now, Shem, he had his sons, you know, that went through Aphasad, Peleg. During the time of Peleg, the earth was divided, you know, the earth was divided. Now, he had Aphasad, I believe, I'm, I'm just, you know, going through it, you know. He had Peleg, you know, he had Eba, Eba. in which Eba is where you have the name Hebrew from, you know. That was the lineage where you have the, the word Hebrew, you know. Now, Eba, from the lineage of Eba, you know, comes Abraham. Terah, Abraham. Terah, Abraham, you know. Then from Abraham, you have um, Isaac. From Isaac, you have Jacob and Esau, in which Jacob and Esau comes back again. The lineage of the righteous and the lineage of the wicked. You know? Let's go back to Second Ezra. Okay, this Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 56. For the other people which also come of Adam, that has said that they are nothing, but be like unto Spedu. Can. So, you see, other people that come from Adam, but not of the chosen seed, which the chosen seed is the seed of, um, of, 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 of Jacob, you know, in which his name was, was changed. You know, he fought against, he fought with the, with the angel of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Shai, and he got a blessing. And that day his name was changed. His name was changed to Yashar Allah. Yashar Allah means the princes of power, and that's what you call Israel today, you know. So he fighting with the angel, gave him that blessing, he became the son of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. His lineage was the chosen lineage, you know. The seed of Israel, his lineage was the, was the chosen, you know. So that's the chosen lineage, the lineage in which the, um, the Most High has made the pact with, you know. He has not done it with any other nation, just like the book of, um, of um, Psalm 147 tells you, you know. What he has done with, um, with, with Jacob, he has not done with, in fact, get that scripture if you can get it quickly. Sorry. Go towards the end. The last two. Okay. This is the book of Psalm 147, verse 19. He says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He has not dared so with any nation, and for his judgment they have not known them. Praise you, the Lord. So as you see, he shows his laws and his statutes to Jacob. So he's giving you an analogy from Jacob, you know, unto Israel. You know, he has not done such with any other nation. Now let's go back to that second Ezra. You know, he has not done that to any other nation. Yeah, and, uh, and, and Steve, and they, you have they, to speak, man. And the Christianity will tell you God loves, for, uh, for God loves uh, the world and everybody. The world, the whole world, you know. So this is Ezra chapter 6, verse 56. For the other people which also come of Adam, that has said that they are nothing but be like unto Spiro, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that fell out from a vessel. So in other words, you know, when you have a movie, you have the main characters, you have the actor, the bows, then you have other extra people, you know. There might be a scene maybe of the hospital, then maybe the actor is on the bed, you know, then you have um, all people just walking by, you know, that's what the other nations are, you know, yeah. they're extra actors, you know. The main actor of this, of this movie is Israel, you know. Their counterpart is um, Esau, the so-called white man, you know, the ruling power right now, you know. That's what it's all about, man, nothing yeah. else. It's, it's also represent the good and the evil. Dan. You know, Mosa is also showing... Perfect balance. Yeah, he's speaking, he wanted to teach us something, the good and the bad. This is what, what it's all about at the end of the day.
righteous and the wicked, you know. So somebody have to play the winner and the loser, you know. So, 57. And now, O oh Lord, behold, those hidden which have, which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lost over us and to devour us. So, you know, this hidden, they began to be lords over us. And why did that happen? Because there was, there was a pact, there was a covenant between the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, just like we read. He has a covenant with the house of Israel. He showed us his ways. He showed us his way, but we broke this covenant, you know. What happens, just like we said in some, some lessons ago, what happens when you have a, a, a contract to follow and, and you break that contract, you know, you pay for the consequences, you know. Yeah. You a don't just break any contract like that, you know. a breach of contract. A breach of contract, thank yeah. you. Speak if you have to speak. Yeah, a breach of contract, like the brother was saying, you know, we, we, that's what, you know, when Christianity said a New Testament, Old Testament, this thing, what is testament? It actually means agreement. We had agreement with the creator of heaven and earth, you know. So the agreement says, if you do this, I'm going to do this for you. And if you fail to do this, this is what's going to happen to you. This is what, what it's all about. So at the end of the day, we end up breaking the contract. So the clause on the contract now says, if we failing to do so, then this is the repercussion. You know, as they said it, right? Repercussion. Ah, repercussion. So the repercussion is what we are going through right now. You know? So I have, I, like, like wait, I, have, I have this, uh, this precept by Daniel. You know? Okay, this is Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him, and he has confirmed his words, which he, which he speak against us, and against our judges that judge us, by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven has not been done as has done as has been done upon Jerusalem. Can. You know? This is what we are going through. This is the cause of, if you go to Deuteronomy chapter 6 with 8, you know, from, from 15 downward, it's all about the causes. When we, are, when we went into agreement with the Mosai. If you breach the agreement, yeah. these are... So we have to go through the causes, and that is where we are now. But when you want this Christianity, they, they, they will forsake all these things. You know, they only concentrate on calm, you know, God so love the world. You're saying he has sent his only begotten son, you know, to take away your sin. What sin? <laughs> <laughs> the scripture says that Yahweh came to redeem them that is under the law. Which, which people are under the law? The only one nation, the choosing. You know, so they, 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 they always, you know, keep the prophecies aside. I have a quick precept you know, for you. They always keep the prophecies aside and just go into their, their, their religion started from Matthew. You know, how can you, how can you start from the ending of the book? You know, how can you understand the whole full book by standing from the, almost the middle or the ending of the book? That's impossible, man. You know? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 25. It says, In the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Yeah, he didn't say all the seed of the world. He didn't say all the seed of Adam. He didn't say all the seed of Adam. You know, he said all the seed of Israel. You know? We'll keep reading. So I should go back to Ezra 6. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 57. And now, O oh Lord, behold, those hidden which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lost over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. Can. And just like we explained, all this happened because we breached the, the agreement that we had with the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And this is exactly the same thing that's happening today. You know, there is a saying, they say, if you can't beat them, you join them. So Jake is beaten to the ground. Jake is beaten to, 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 the, very, <laughs> to the very least of everything. But what Jake thinks of 
is that of joining them. You know? And Jake is just making things worse for himself. Jake is meant to remember this is a time in which Jake is meant to remember the most high Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. And Khan, there is a scripture that says, you know, in the affliction they shall remind, remember me. You know? The most high is doing this. You know? And those who have been chosen to, re to remember are remembering. They are calling upon the name Yahawa. They are putting aside these wicked renaissance names and all false doctrines, you know, that led them to what they, we actually are, you know? And hey, there is a bigger judgment coming, man. This 2022 is going to be a hell of a year, man. Y'all have no single idea of what's, what's about to happen, man. Esau, Esau is going to raise all hell, man. But through the power of the Most High Yehaba Hashem who, 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 um, who, who sanctions that, you know? Who gives him the power to do that, for lack of better words? Keep reading, sorry. Okay. Verse 9. If the word now be made for our sex, why do we not possess an inheritance with the word? How long shall this endure? Can so this is um this is um Ezra, you know, who was a prophet of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, a beloved of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He was giving a lot of visions, you know. So he was asking, but if this earth was made for our sake, why is it that you're not giving us also a portion with these people that are just ruling over us? But the Most High has a just balance. You know, you can't mix the clean with the unclean. You know, the Most High has made a separation. So he has created this time for the wicked to rule. You know, this is their time to rule. There is time for everything, man. Just like the book of um, Ecclesiastes says, there's a time to win, there's a time to lose, there's a time to, 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 to gather, there's a time to, to let go. You know, there is a time for everything. This is the time in which the, 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 um, the wicked, they've been ordained to rule. And this rulership of the wicked is helping us learn a whole lot of things to know wickedness so that we can be the right judges of this of this kingdom yep. and when we, we are about to rule in our own time nobody is going to rule alongside us mm. it's just going to be israel yep. just like we have not given anything in their in their rulership that is how our rulership is going to be esau is going to go down man it's good oh, oh goodness man yeah the scripture said the sense the the shall take the kingdom and possess it forever and ever and it shall, it shall not be left to other people meaning it's going to be forever Eternity, man. It's gonna be eternity. No, so there is nothing like you know you have another person coming to no, rule. No joint thing, rulership. No. And not going. No uh, joint rulership. There's no such thing as uh, China, you know, and, uh, and yeah, make it, like, make no, deal, making making agreements. No, ain't, ain't no such bullshit like no. uh, the, the the European Union and all that no, crap. No, 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 no. There, there's no such thing as a United Nation. <laughs> you know, it's only gonna be we and them. It's gonna be the law, our law. Because the scriptures say all nations will flock into Jerusalem, right? It can. Then by then they shall know the law. Just like now. We if you go to Nigeria now, Kenya, whatever, we all follow the law of Esau. You know, our people all go to university. They all celebrate Christmas, Easter, and whatever. In other words, we're actually still under this same um, Roman rule, you yeah. know? That's what is it? Nothing changed. We're actually under this Roman rule. Nothing changed, you know? Yeah, keep, get it. Okay, this is Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is filled of all good things. 7. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water it and one only part between them both even between the fire and the water so small that there could but one man go there at once so this is talking about, you know, it's talking about two elements, the water and the fire, which are purifying elements, you know. There is a narrow road, a very narrow road in which only one person can pass at a time, yeah. you know. On the right hand, you have the fire. On the left, you have water. These are two purifying agents, you know. Only one man can pass through this road. This is just telling you about this truth. Yeah. That is how this truth is. Very hard to get. Yeah, you, you know, know, you know, you know, Jake, Jake is asking here in uh, the last Esdras, he said that if the word now be
be made for our sakes? Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? And how long shall this endure? So that's, if you go to seven now, that's what he's trying try to let you know. So for us to possess this world, in other words, it's just like our Heavenly Father create a world, or you have a company. So, and you hand it over to, um, he create, maybe have, have other servants, but he have a son. For his son to inherit this very company, he has to go through things, you know, you have to, you have to go, go through training. Yeah, I have to go through training. So we, it's just like we are under training now. For us to inherit this kingdom, we have to go through training. You know, so this is what Jake don't get it. Jake wants it now. They don't understand that there is a story going on. You know, Musa didn't just create this world to be a mess like it is today. No. Ah, Khan, sorry, I was saying, you know, you're right. When you finish speaking, let's go to the second book of Ezra, chapter 16. We'll read from 32. Because Jake doesn't really understand what's about to go down, man. Jake does not understand what's about to go down. 32. You read from verse 32. This is 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 32. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the field thereof shall wax old. Okay. The earth shall be laid waste, and the field shall wax old. That means no maintenance, yep. you know? For the earth to, to wax waste, and the field, it means no maintenance. And you see, this is what's going to happen to this kingdom very, very soon. And you remember, you know, the people shall be divided against themselves. All these things that Esau is doing, in which it's the most I put in the spirit on him to do so, is actually bringing to the demise of his kingdom. He's doing all these things, willing to get quick ownership of everything. He's anxious to create his new world order, his NWO. But all this is, is going to fall upon his head. And what's going to make this earth desolate, you know, the, the field should wax um, worse because there will be no workers, man. People are finding out that Esau is the devil by the day, by the minute, by the hour. That's why Esau needs to create these new laws, you know, telling you not to, you can't go to visit um, your family if they have not had any, anything to do with Vanessa, you know, telling you that you can't, you can't mix out with people on the street. Yeah, now you need to put on the, the marks. You know, to avoid people communicating, you know, to avoid people to wake up, you know. So Esau knows all these things. And people are really waking up, man. They are waking up to the fuckery. You know, you first said all you needed was, was, was a Vanessa portion. Now from one Vanessa portion, it went to two Vanessa portion. Now it's the third Vanessa portion. I'm going to four. Now in Israel. In, in Israel, the Amalekites living in Israel, they are, they are actually taking a fourth portion, you know. So this is just what the, the scripture is telling you. This shows you who the wicked is, you know. The book of Sirach chapter 12 verse 10, it says, Never trust thine enemy, for as iron rusted so is his wickedness, you know. So the, the scripture is just actually exposing these people from time in time, you know. They, they, they go by lies, 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 fodders of lies, man. That's the book of Job, is it? 13.4, yeah. you know. Fodders of lies. Physicians of no value, you know, they forge lies, lies, and all this thing is going to cause people not to give any fuck anymore. I go on um, on on TikTok, I check out informations on TikTok, and you have a whole bunch of people saying, you know, they would have to kill me for me to take this Vanessa, you know, and these are people that are not in the truth, a whole lot of them. So everywhere is going to be left desolate. They are going to lose workers. That's why they're coming out with all this AI, artificial intelligence, robots, you know, to take over humans because they already know that... It's, it's happening already. It's already happening, yes. They know that they are going to lose lots of people in different fields, you know. Read on. And the earth shall be led west, and the feet thereof shall wash old, and her ways, and all her parts shall grow full of thorns. Are you, are you understanding what's going on? And our ways, our roads, is, everything is going to be unkept. You see all the plants that you see here? They're going to come out, grow, and cover the road, man. Tons are going to grow everywhere because people maintaining them, they're not going to be available anymore, you know? And Esau has some wicked plans, but Jake is not understanding, you know? They rather believe their oppressors than believing their brethren who are teaching the truth. 
you know, just like we read, we are bidding them to the, to the, to the, to the remembrance, to, to the coming back of their heritage, but they give all flimsy excuses. What do I have to do? Do I have to leave my job? Do I have to abandon my job? You know, the, the average Jake right now is not thinking of anything. The average Jake is just thinking of his job, how to pay his rent and how to outfit himself, you know? The average Jake has no brain of his own, you know? He only thinks about his job, thinks about his rent, thinks about this, thinks about that, you know? The average Jake is not understanding what's going on, man, <laughs> you know? And, you know, very soon they have the MOTB and you see, what you need to understand is, you see all this issue of Vanessa, all this issue of Demic that's going on, everything has to do with pushing their agenda in which the major agenda is that of Revelation 13, 16, you know? That is the main agenda. That is the main thing in which they're doing all these things to, to, to destroy the, eco uh, the economy, stability of the country you know now all these lockdowns all these lockdowns have you know have caused you know bankruptcy to all these um smaller businesses but smaller businesses are running bankrupt and they're, 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 they're closing up you know because they can't they can't afford to pay all these big this thing now over here in italy Esau just increased the tax to 100 percent can you imagine yeah they, they want to build bad better and in order to build bad better you have to destroy the old one. That's just what it is. They increased you know? the tax to 100%. And what are they doing from February, I believe, probably um, late January, over here in Italy, you know, everything is going to raise to the highest. Light bills, gas bills, and everything, you know? And all these people are not ready, you know? People are waking up by the day. They're not ready to, to fall for this BS crap of, of Vanessa. The numbers you see on TV, they are all fake numbers, you know? They just put numbers, you know, to get people, to get people convinced that oh, lots of people are taking it. But ain't no lot of people taking it. Because if lots of people are taking it, you know, they said you needed 80% or whatever. And if it is true what they're putting on the TV... They have already gotten it. If it is got, true... If it is true, why are they still pushing? <laughs> and people are still protesting in the streets. People are still protesting in the streets. You know, more so than... you can never trust these devils, man. Yeah. We don't. So, because no man shall travel, yeah, true, the virgin shall mourn, having no uh, bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn, having no husbands. Okay, and this goes to all these crazy women, most especially the Negro women, okay? Esau, Esau you've had that part, that beautiful hour with Esau. Esau has made you feel like the queen of heaven. Esau has given you a pedal stone and put you on the podium, man. Esau has worshipped you and made you cause hell on Jake, you know? Eve, you're going to partake of this, your part. You know, when we were coming this morning, it's through the spirit we were saying this thing through the spirits in the morning. You know, when we were coming, we were speaking about, you know, the, the population of the, of the female, yeah, yeah, the female yeah. population and the male population, man. The female population outruns the male population, I think, to four to five times, man, you know? Many of them are going to be destroyed and many are still going to be left. And these women, that's when they would know that really a man is a shield. Yep. A man is a protection in the day of tribulation, you know? That's when they will know. They shall weep and cry, you know? And that takes you back to the book of um, Isaiah, the fourth chapter, you know? Seven shall grab hold on a man on that day saying, you know, let us just be called by your name. We'll take, we'll take over ourselves, take care of everything, you know? So, you see, there is a whole big hell coming on this planet as you know it. Things are about to happen in high and big portions that you cannot imagine. That movie, um, that movie, um, I Am Legend, that is the scenery that this chapter is speaking of. Keep reading. If you have something to add, you can always add it. Their daughter shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars, shall their bridegroom be destroyed. Can. And lots of men are going to be killed. Lots of jakes are going to be killed. You know? Because in the times of tribulations, what's going to happen? lack of provision for the family men are going to go out many are going to want to go steal destroy things you know grab on anything and the scripture tells you in the book of matthew that the, the, the love of many shall wax cold man yeah. the love of many is going to wax cold you know people are going to to kill a man is going to be like nothing man and then you see that scenery of the, the movie porge you know which you made me watch the movie yeah. the scenery of the movie porge is coming man 
because Esau is just going to sit back and this is what he wants because mm -hmm. Esau wants order out of chaos yeah. order out of chaos you know this is what Esau wants he has already prepared all these things because what Esau does you know they do a diligent search man they search things out just like the book of Psalm 68 you know it tells you they do they make a diligent search you know they search things out they've studied all these things by the pen they've studied everything that hey if we create all this chaos and all this this is what's going to happen they know how much human can resist you know your doctor Froch is there they have in their laboratories you know trying out different torturing children torturing animals you know they found animals and they're speaking of animal what if they find the laboratories where they torture humans you know MK Ultra they've been doing all these things for years you know trying to find how to see the, the, the limits that man can resist you know but then when you start taking away his food his water his shelter man it bugs out it bugs the fuck out man they go out on the streets you know they 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 they, they, they and this happened in the same time of um of the of the mansada that 70 a.d when the romans went into um, israel they besieged israel in which what did they start doing they start eating, eating their own children man they start eating their own children in the siege they had no food they had no no water nothing nothing you know they start eating their own children eating their flesh hey the scripture tells us in the book of daniel chapter 12 verse 1 that a time like never before since the beginning of the earth you know we are getting into that time again once more we're getting into that time you know yeah keep uh, reading we are actually happy to see, see it happen see. you know because you actually said that blessed are your eye for the sea for uh, many kings and many prophets have wished to see these things yeah, that you see but they couldn't see but it. they couldn't see it you know our, our forefathers our ancestors you know like example if you go to act chapter one when the disciples were asking him, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? You know, so we have all, in the generation in the, in the in the past, we have always wanted to you know to see the end of this kingdom. You know, but man, it's very exciting to see it happening in our own life. It's happening. You know, so we hope that maybe we hope not maybe we hope next year 2022 it will all it's going to be the decisive man. year man you know man, you. man cannot wait to get the, the fuck yeah, out of this place we're man. actually happy you know it's happening it's no longer how long how long how long no no it's actually happening for real you know part of the the the, the part of what is all want to do is to reduce the the, the population that's why they are going to put uh and allow all this chaos you know like the porch to allow it to happen because it's part of the plan to reduce the population when there's chaos when there's fighting people killing themselves you know that the population is also reducing you know and those who, who have the, the 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 thing you know the mark in them they will yeah, be the only one be. only one to, to to eat you know according to them the only one to survive because you you, you have make it's like you have make agreement or covenant with them you know, you are, you are not their citizen. They are new. You, are, you not belong in their new world, which they are building. You know, you know. So all hell is about to break loose, man. <laughs> no more, no more. All these dreams that you're running after, all these careers that you're running after, everything is coming to its demise. And you know what's going to happen? Even those people who are going to take the MOTB, they are going to be, they are going to be. What's the word I'm looking for? They are going to be, what's that word? I'm looking for a word now. I just keep my for those people that will take the MOTB. They will be okay. They will be in the region with them. Can the they will be in the region? And there is another word again. I'm looking for. They will, they are going to be sorry. They are going to be disappointed. Yeah, they are going to be disappointed. Why are they going to be disappointed? Because you know, we've seen all different scenarios of those you know going to take this Vanessa Juice to continue their jobs, and their jobs still locked down. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. So you see it, you know. So those people who are actually playing all these things that okay, Esau is going to help us and they're going to get this. I have to maintain my riches. I have to maintain this. They are all going to be disappointed because Esau is not trustworthy. <laughs> Woe to the man that puts his trust on man. Keep reading. Especially man, man, man of sin. Especially the man of <laughs> sin, man. Yeah, so, long thing, man. So. Why all these things are happening? This is the hope we have. You know, this is Second Ezra chapter two. Uh, I will start from twenty-six. It says, "As for the servant whom I have given thee, 
yet shall not one of them perish. For I will inquire them, I will require them from among thy number. In seven, be not worried, for when the day of the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. With eight, the hidden shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against and that's, thee. That's also the in the book of Job, no? That yeah, yeah, yeah. We shall laugh, you know? Yeah, we shall laugh in the time of famine. And you know? in the times of famine, all these yeah. things that are coming, you know, so there are some men actually, they are piling up, you know, piling up, building all dif different kinds of bunkers, but they don't know they might be building those things for Akiams, yeah, well, you know? That, that's what's going to happen. Akiams, Akiams are going to run into houses, you know, yeah. filled full of, with food. <laughs> <laughs> full of different kind of food, man. <laughs> hey, the fear of the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, man, yeah. you know? <laughs> so this is our hope, you know, in the time of trouble, when the day get darker, you know, because the scripture says it's going to be the worst time ever, you know? And after the after it, they shall they shall not no ever be you know like it again. So it, it's here. Another another word of encouragement is in the book of um, Jeremiah thirty seven. You know, time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved. Okay, thirty seven. Okay. Thirty seven. You know, Jacob shall be saved in all these times that are coming, man. Yeah. Read it. Yeah, you can read yeah, it. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Can. So, the question is, has that day passed? No. As long as we stay in this kingdom, that day hasn't come. You know, so all these um, wacky tacky um, Hebrew Israelites, you know, saying all sort of foolishness that, you know, ah, uh, there is no time of Jacob's trouble, you know, preaching all soft words to you to keep you sleeping spiritually, you know. They are all going to get their portion of the destruction, you know, if they don't repent, you know. There is a time like never before, but the promise is Jacob is going to be saved out of it. Yep. That's why we're doing this work, you know, coming out week in and week out, you know, praying. Trying to the best of our ability to follow this commandment so the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai could be merciful on us, you know? Go on. This scripture I'm looking for. Yeah, Yahushai said we should watch. Watch and pray. Yeah, so that we escape all these things. Let's uh, take a look. You know, Jake right now is all spiritually roused up, you know, for his folly. There is a spirit that actually moves in this period of the year where people get married for and sacrifice to Saturnalia, you know. The other brother, Kalam, he went to a city yesterday because we couldn't meet, you know. So he said he saw a whole bunch of Jakes, you know, moving around. They would just pass by, but none would stop. You know, I told him, man, what do you expect? It's the worship of Saturnalia. You know, these people right now, they're just thinking of going to eat some rice, some, some turkey, drink beer and wine, and be merry. They don't think of anything. It's not that there is anything wicked in drinking wine or beer. There is nothing wicked, you know. Myself, I drink wine, you know. There is nothing wicked in doing that. But being in that spirit of drunkenness, not understanding what's going on is wicked, man. Being a fool. Because we're being told to walk as wise men, you know, redeeming the time for the days are evil. That's Ephesians 5.15, you know. Yeah. But Jake is walking as a foolish blind man, man. You know, being carried away by all winds of doctrine, you know. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. It says, Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. We are part of that numbers and this is part of it, watching. We are watching, we are the watchmen, you know? We are the watchmen watching, you know? Checking out news, 
you know, filtering it out through the spirits, understanding what's going on, studying the scriptures, you know, redeeming the time, man. This is the wisest thing you can do at this time. It's not a time to run after money and girls and all that bush, bullshit, you know. It's not the time to get a wife or all those kind of stupid, stupid things. Yeah, you get more than that, you know. Yeah. The Apostle Paul, he said, you know, um, he would have loved that all men be like him, you know. Be eunuchs unto the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushite. Then I'm not saying we should all be, you know. But at this time... He's just, just giving an advice. He's just giving an you know? advice, man. Because all these things are distractions, you know. These things are distractions, you know. Myself, I couldn't, I couldn't even live without, you know. I, I don't, I, I couldn't live without sex, and for a week there was a period of my life that was like that, you know. I had always had girls, man, you know. But Kalala Yah Bashem Yahushai Bashem she took away these spirits from me, man. My mind is not even thinking of such anymore because the time you 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 can't you're not you're going to be a fool to hear the sound of of, of war the trumpet of war and be dancing <laughs> <laughs> you you definitely be a fool you know to be hearing the trumpet of war you know in those days when you had the, the enemies coming close to your fortress you know you had the watchman on the on the top of the tower it was going to blow the trumpet and, and let you know that, you know, there is war coming. What do they do? Do they dance and say, ah, <laughs> hey, hey, war? <laughs> Men get ready, you know, they run down, boom, they pick up their hammers, they pick up their swords and everything. They start going into formation. This is what it is, man. This is the time you need to get into formation, you know, and prepare yourself for the best tactics, you know. This is the best time, man. Because when all else starts breaking loose, you lose you lose contact of everything. You 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 get confused, man. You don't want to be get caught up in that situation where you know you just find enemies right at the front of your gates. Everyone is confused. Babies, everyone is running all around. You know, people not understand what's going on. You know, you get confused, man. You don't have the time to formulate. You know, you don't have the time to 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 to, to prepare yourself. But we are those men, as, as soon as we hear the, the, the sound of the strump, you know, we start getting inf inf information. Hey, you pick up your spear, you pick up your, you know, put on the armor of um, Ephesians 5. Let's get that, man, please. You know, you need to put on your armor of salvation. This is the time. And I, <laughs> I'm just laughing because saying this, you know, I remember that, that Issacharite, I believe, that bugged out Issacharite. I say, Jesus, <laughs> my armor, my <right> God. <laughs> like I said that dude before. <laughs> That's a bugged out dude, man. <laughs> this is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. You know? 17 says, Wherefore be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yes, we understand what the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is. You know, once you understand the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you're being a wise servant, you know. You're being a wise servant. And the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not really difficult to understand because He has already told you everything from the beginning, He has told you the end from the beginning. Keep reading. 18. And be not drunk with wine. We are in its essence, but be filled with the spirit. Don't be drunk with wine. This wine is representing all different kinds of philosophies, you know. All what you have in your mind, your, your dreams, your aspirations, and all these craps, you know. It's not the time, man. It's not the time to be drunk with different philosophies. Or it's not the time to be to be to, to be to have that doubtful spirit. Oh, is the earth round or is the earth flat? Yeah. It's not that time, man. Earth round or flat cannot bring salvation. It's not going to bring salvation. No. So this uh, I have another precept. This is what you should be doing. Uh, this is Second Peter, verse three, verse eleven. It said, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all?" In all holy conversation and godliness. 
can and you see this is very deep you know saying that everything is going to be dissolved what's going to make everything dissolved yeah. The explosion, the, the, the nuclear weapons, nuclear bombs, everything yeah. will be dissolved, destroyed. Your cars, your Ferrari, your Bugattis, your, 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 your 60, 60 yard whatever mansions and all those, everything will be fucking dissolved, man. Yeah. You know? So, what manner of men are you supposed to be? Your mind is not supposed to be there. You know, where your heart is is where your treasure is, just like the book of Luke tells you, you know? Okay. If your heart is set on high above, you know, those things cannot be dissolved by the bombs and nuclear whatever. Rather, you get you get paid for all those things, you know? Yeah. And we, we are expecting a bigger pay, man. We are men of business, man. We're not low class. You think I'm just dead, you know, dreaming of your fucking Lamborghini that's going to, the, the tire is going to get bust on the streets. I have to fill it with, 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 um, with benzene, with gas every day, you know? Or you think I'm dreaming of your fucking 50, 70 yard mansion? in which the government can decide to even take those things anytime they want, you know? My, we are businessmen, man. We, we, we aspire higher, man. We're the real businessmen, yeah. you know? We aspire into things that your mind cannot even see, you know? And the kingdom will be trading gold, man. Our, our pavements are going to be built with, with gold, man. Our windows will be made with amnetist stones, you know? The topaz, you know? You have your, you have your zinc, you're everything made with precious stones, you know? So what, what the heck do we have to think about this kingdom right here? This kingdom is fucked, man. There is nothing good here, man. Yeah. See, seeing that uh, Russia is now, is now in the border of Ukraine with uh, about uh, 100,000, I don't know how I many... That's, 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 that's a sound of war, but what's yeah. Jake doing? Jake is happy in concerts and everything. <laughs> they don't see any damn fucking thing that's happening, man. Yeah, they're testing different they're missiles. Testing, China. Even yesterday, I saw Iran. Iran yeah, also yeah, Iran tested also. Their, their, their missiles, you yeah, know? And they're about to, Iran, they're also almost to, to, to build uh, their nuclear. Their you nuclear, know? you know? Which Israel vowed to stop them. Israel said they can never be allowed to watch Iran. And that's, that's you know, that's I believe that's what's going to cause the yeah, whole conflict. That's, that's, you know? that's the main thing because, because Israel, the scripture says the least of them is going to draw, it shall draw them out. Yeah, you know? Israel did not hide it. They say that they can never be alive to see this thing happen. And yesterday on the news, if I'm not mistaken, I saw that the Italians, you know, they were sending their military also to the east. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the determination of the Most High Harbor Shem Yahusha is that of, you know, mm. of, of, of gather, of, the, gather whole, the whole nations yeah. to the east, to the to the mountain of Yahweh Shapat, yep. where it's going to plead for us, you know, yep. for the sake of Israel. Let's go back to what we are reading. Okay. That's element of. Mm. Second Peter 2 verse 3 says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? In all holy conversation. In all holy conversations. Conversations that are set aside. Yep. Sacred conversations. Our sacred conversation is found here in the scriptures, man. And not only in the scriptures, the, truth, the truthful understanding and breakdown of the scriptures, you yeah. know? All these bug out Hebrew Israelites that are that are preaching uh, uh, the MOTB sleeping with white women, the MOTB is hegemony, the, the MOTB is uh, John 316 and all that fuckery, man. That is corrupt conversation. That is corrupt conversation. Then the wacky tacky Christians that don't understand any dumb thing, they believe that com corrupt conversation is when you say fuck you. These are harsh words, man. It has nothing to do with that. Hey, man, people need to wake up, man, because there's no time, man. These people, they're hearing the sound of war and they're all dancing to it, you know. <laughs> it sounds like Ja Rule to them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wish I'd say that, uh, you know, his coming back shall be like liking unto the days of Noah. They were eating, they were drinking, they were married. Yeah, they were giving, giving him marriage. Giving him marriage and you know? doing all. They were dancing, man. They were hearing the sound of war. Yeah. They were just feasting. The yeah. sound sounded like, you know, it sounded like, what would I do without you? <laughs> <laughs> well, verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God. We are in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with favoring heat. Everything is going to be destroyed. Everything would melt out with favoring heat. You know, a good scenery of that is the, um, the Terminator. You know, where that, that nuclear bomb, you know, it bombed everywhere and people, they had their flesh, you know, melting up their, their bones, you know. People get cooked in two seconds, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what it mean by lack of fire, you know? 144, Kalala Yaba Shemi Oshai. That's what it mean by lack of fire, you know? Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. We are in dwellers righteousness. This is Jake, man. This is the spirit that Jake should be in. We are all expecting a new heaven and a new earth where, where, uh, where, where we have righteousness, you know? Because this place is defiled, man. Sorry. This place is heavily defiled. The brother was saying this morning that um, they said the most, the most dirty and corrupted part of the earth is right up in the hemisphere. And that makes so much sense because everything evaporates and goes there. You know, Esau has all these different things that he sprays on the sky. But I don't think it even looks normal to have the sky like this. Oh, you can't even see through the sky, yeah, you know? See. Esau has sprayed every damn thing. So now this period of cold, when you have um, the dew coming down, you have the rain, you know? They bring down all these things and people get sick, you know? This place is corrupted. There is no, nothing good in this place, man. The water is defiled, you know? I, I was watching the live lesson of the brothers in um, GMS Holland yesterday and they were speaking about the water, the, bro the, 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 the brother Tazabai was speaking about the water, that the water is defiled, that most of the water that we used to bet is filled with cocaine. And it's true, man. Yeah. I actually went to where they, they, they make this water, you know, the water you flush from your toilet and everything, I went to the, to the place where they, they refine this water and bring it back to your home. You know, they have chemicals, they use chemicals to pull up the shit. Everything, your feces, everything, they take them out and sell it back to you as fertilizers, you know. They add all different kinds of chemicals, the water goes from one section to another until the water becomes clear again. It looks clear, but it's filled, it's not longer water, man. And what do they do? Esau sends it back to your house. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes back to the book of um, uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 4, you know. That we shall our, our bread shall be defiled amongst the Eden, you know. We shall eat what we shall eat is going to be like human dung, and that's it. You know, this same water goes into watering your plants, you know, your plant absorbs all these chemicals. You know, this place is 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 oh, the only the only solution to make this place better, man, is just nuclear bombs, man. Yeah. And if you're not seeing that, man, it means you're going to be destroyed too, you know. So we Understanding, getting this understanding, understanding what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua has promised, you know, we're looking up to a new heaven, a new head, you know, where you don't have all this corruption, man. All these things are defiled and corrupt. Keep, keep going. That um, Ephesians 5, I wanted to get that um, element of salvation, I think it's in chapter 6. They say put on the helmet of salvation. Put on your armor of God that you may be. Can just read all this one go down. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter 6. Let me start from 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. Put on the wall armor of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai so you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It just goes back to what I was saying. You know, in the ancient times when there was going to be war, you know, you spot the enemy is coming, someone makes the sound, sounds the trumpet of war, in which this is what they, they, we, we are doing, starting from the elder apostles, you know. We are, we are actually... Prophets, you know, we're, 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 what we're saying is, you know, we're, we're, we're sounding the alarm. Yeah. Just like the book of um, Ezekiel it says, you know, oh, watch man, you know, sound the alarm when you see the evil coming. So we are sounding alarm. People are just walking by. It sounds like good music that they can dance to, you know, but it doesn't sound like good music that can resonate with their spirits, you know. So we are sounding the alarm. And what happens? A wise soldier, what, what's going to happen? Because the word soldier comes from solo, one man, you know? We are all soldiers in this thing because this is a battle. What is a wise soldier going to do? A wise soldier is going to hear that sound. He's going to run quickly to his armory, pick up his helmet, put on his helmet, put on his, 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 his chin guard, put on his, his, his vest and everything, sharpen his sword and get ready, you know? 
But yeah. the foolish one, they, they're still going to be dancing and drinking and doing everything. You know, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, the Amos, like you say, we got to put the Amos. We got to know this truth, the raw truth. Know what to do, what not to do. Know who we are. Know, know what our father required. And know but why. In that scripture, we're still going to get to those know, points. Know why we fell in the first place. That's the armor. Know the raw truth. Know who is the devil. As the brother was saying, the wise of the devil, just like what they are doing now. You know, the trickish. You know, the, uh, 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 making laws with, with wickedness. You know, they are doing their wickedness through laws. Giving you, uh, what do they call it? All this juice. They decree a wicked decree. Yeah, decree a wicked decree. You know, that's part of the wiles of the devil. You know, the greatest wiles of the devil is going to be the MOTB, which is coming. Yeah, and we and all know through the script, through the scriptures, that it's it's um, it's the it's the microchip. You know, they already put it, it is in nothing the... else than the microchip. It can't be any other thing, man. Exactly, because it every... cannot be any other thing. Everything goes towards that future. You know, right. that is the new future. That is what they are, they are pushing out new. You know, even the currency is going to be the digital. The currency is all going to be digital. Yeah. It's going to be implied by the microchip, via the microchip. They have all these things ready, especially the EU. The yeah. EU has all these plans ready. And they're saying it to our face. Only that, you know, they speak in Italian. I would have been showing some videos. I really don't have the time to start, you know, um, translating what they say. But this, this, this thing is just right there at the front of our eyes. The MOTB. You know, let's keep reading. Verse 12. But, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, we can't be carnal in this thing of ours. You know, we have to be spiritual about these things, you know. Because the people ruling, you know, it's the most I actually that kept them there, going back to the book of Romans 13, you know, the powers that be. You can't fight against them with your carnal guns or whatever. You're going to fight with Esau, with the, who is blessed with the sword. He's going to fuck you up, man, with that pistol, you know. Before you, you're, you're picking up your gun, before you're cacking there, before you shooting, Esau has already buried you, man. Yeah, because that's his blessing. That's his blessing. You know, our, own, our own blessing is spiritual. You know, the so world. this thing, you know, there is a scripture that tells you, you know, you worship the Father in spirit. You can't yeah. worship the, uh, you can't worship the Father in just carnality, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, Apostle Paul said that our warfare is not carnal, it's spiritual. It's spiritual, you man. Know? Uh, we got to know the sword, we got to know the armor. That, that's what the armor, you know, means. So, verse 13. We have for take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Can. Take on the whole armor of the Most High, Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, so you'll be able to stand in the evil day. Because remember, in these evil days, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And that armory of the Most High Yahweh Hashem is the knowledge of this truth, man, in which we're going to read. Faith. You understand? It's, you know, like the boy said, so this, this is, uh, this Revelation 3 verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you see, it didn't say anything. Read that thing again, sorry. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. It didn't say because thou hast striven hard to, 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 to feed 10,000 people of one city. It didn't say thou hast striven hard to build houses. It didn't say thou hast striven hard, you know, to use your music to reach the world and all those things. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, you know, which is this truth, man. This truth, you know, it gets people angry. People get ashamed of this truth. That's why they're not part of this truth, you know? You have Hebrew Israelites, you know, living. The Hebrew Israelites, well, they, well, they started with wicked Hebrew Israelites like IUIC, and they let that go back to, into the church, you know? Like a dog going back to its vomit, you know? Like a dog going back to its vomit. Let's keep reading. That's all, that's all I get. Yeah, we we'll go back to Ephesians. Ephesians 6. We 
uh, verse 18, I believe. No, where is that place that is saying, um, see, all this one, all this one I need. No, you start from 13. Start from 13 and read down. I want where it says the element of faith, armor. You have taken unto you the whole, the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand there for having your loins guide about with truth. So you can stand the evil days. What are the evil days? Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble that is about to come upon the whole earth. You know? Jacob's trouble. The battery is going down. Let's cover this hand. Okay. Stand there for having your loin guide about with truth and having on the blast plate of righteousness. Having your loins guide around with the truth. You know? Your loins could be gathered around and be a soldier, you know. As I was saying, the soldiers, they have pieces of stuff that they put on. The helmets, the shield, then the best plates. They have these things that protect their hands from the cuts of the sword, you know. It has to be the, the one guiding your loins. And you see, your loin is very, very delicate, you know. Because, you know, if you're fighting with a guy and a guy kicks you on, on, on your loins, man, that shit is painful, man. If a man, if you're fighting with a man and he grabs hold on your loins, you know, you feel weak. You give up immediately, you see. So your loins need to be guarded with the truth. You know, which your loins has to do with your, your private parts and all this area of your body. So it needs, to be, it needs to be guarded with the truth. If it is not the truth, then it's not protected, man. Yeah. Okay. Verse 14. No, sorry. Verse 15. And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That is your feet shield with the preparation of the gospel of feet or uh, peace, you know. That's like the chin guard that you put on, you know. So that's when that's it also goes deep, you know, where you say where if you go on to certain people, you say beautiful are the feet of those that bring that preach the what's the beautiful gospel of truth. That preach the gospel of truth, you know. So your feet are beautiful with the gospel of truth, you know, you need to you need to protect it well because that's also a part in which, you know, this place, you know, it's really, it's really hurtful if you hit it against something strong, you know. Verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith. The shield of faith, you know. Why? Your shield needs to be faith because without faith, faith is just the base of everything. If you have no faith, you can't be in this truth of ours, you, you know. You can't please God. You can't please the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, yeah, you know. Faith... Faith is the is the substance is the substance of the of, things, of things not seen. Not seen. You know? Something no, let's different. get it quickly. That's the book of Hebrew eleven. Let's get it quickly. Yeah, this is Hebrew eleven verse one. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Substance of things hoped for, okay? The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. That makes the difference in this world. Because everyone wants to see, just like we said earlier, they want to have it quickly, they want to see, you know. But with faith, you, you have faith, you believe in something you haven't seen, but you know it's through the Spirit, you know. So that's why your helmet needs to be the helmet of, um, of, of faith. Let's go on. Still. Above all, taking the shed of faith, we are with you shall be able to quench all the fairy death of the wicked. Can. You know, the, the wicked is shooting all sorts of darts at you, you know, he's shooting, he's shooting Vanessa at you. Very soon he's going to shoot shooting, um, what do they call it, um, uh, the MOTB at you, you know. So if you don't have faith, there's going to be a period of time in which you're going to give up. You're going to be like, man, yeah. man, yeah, I, I think that. I should just go and take this thing because, yeah. you know, you lose hope. You lose hope. So you need that shield, you know, yeah. that shield of faith to protect all these darts. You know, all this wickedness that Esau is shooting at you, you know. Hey, the times are really wicked. <laughs> you would remember these things, you know, speaking to those who are not in the truth that might be watching this video, you know. It's not about listening to this truth and not putting this truth into practice, you know. He say, um, um, be ye not listeners only, but be ye doers of, 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 this, of this truth, man. Don't just listen, be doers, no, partake of this truth, you know. That's how you'll be saved. Keep reading. 
17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvation. Your head needs to be well protected, you know. Salvation, what salvation? Salvation is in Yahweh Shai. Salvation is not in any other person. It's not in any other thing. It's not in your money. It's not in your house. It's not in your riches or in your, in your, in your social position. Salvation is only found in Yahweh Shai. That's why your helmet that protects your head, protects your brain, it needs to be there. Yeah. It has to be the salvation of Yahweh Shai. And that's the core, core of this truth, you know. You know your head ending. is delicate, you know. That's the ending part of it because without salvation, there's every, uh, the whole thing makes no sense. It makes no sense, you know. No? So, and, this, and this word of truth, which is the word of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Can. You see, this, this truth that we say is like a double-edged sword, you know. Yeah. If you come to someone that doesn't have the spirit of truth in it, you cut them with this truth, man. You know, that's why people, they flee when they hear this truth, you know. It says the wicked flee when no man pursue it, you know. Many cannot stand this truth. Only the true men of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, can stand this truth. Because most, especially going into the technicalities of this truth, it might not sound cool to your ear. You know, reincarnation might not sound cool to your ear, you know. Um, a, a woman becoming a, a, a female becoming a woman at the age of 12 might not sound cool to your ears you know but these things is the truth this is the truth it is a sword what does a sword a sword is used to protect yourself and also to kill and cut asunder your enemies you know yeah. that's 18 praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit Pray. and watching keep keep reading and Sorry. watching there unto with all perverse with all pe pe perseverance. Uh, perseverance. Perseverance and supplication for all saints. 19. So me, it says you should, you should pray always, you know, with prayers and supplication in which what we're doing, you know, teaching this truth, we're praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know. We're supplicating to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai to come and redeem us from this kingdom of, of, of scabitude, you know. Of this kingdom of, of wickedness, you know? So this is our prayer, you know? When we watch the lessons, when we listen to the lessons, they're actual prayers, you know? Then you also make your prayers, you know? When you want to pray, you, you close yourself in your, in, your, in your secret place, you know, not being like a, like a, like a dumb hypocrite, just like the, the Christians and other people do, you know, praying in loud voices and letting the whole world know they're praying, you know? This is our supplications, you get? 19. For me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. And that is, that, that is it. The Most High has given us the spirit of utterance. You know, he has made us bold to make the world know the history, uh, the mystery of, um, of, of, of this, of this, um, of this, um, of this, um, of this gospel. And when I say the world, I actually mean the house of Israel because if you go to the book of um, Isaiah 45, Isaiah 45, it tells you, Isaiah 45. yes, Isaiah 45, that's the um, Israel, my world. I can't remember the verse. Isaiah 45, 17. For Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed, nor confounded world without end so you can see the world actually that we speak of is the world of israel you know israel is that world of the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It shall be saved with an everlasting salvation and we shall not be confounded so hey you know you want you don't want to find yourself in that part of being ashamed in the kingdom you know because many are going to wake up into shame some into 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 different you know that is um, also in the book of Daniel 12 and also this book of Second Ezra, you know. So you, we, want, we, want, we want to get into that kingdom, you know, being happy, you know, being joyous that, oh, we've partaken of this work, of this glorious work, you know. So if you have something to say, you say, no, we close the lesson. Hmm? Anyway, you know, we hope this lesson was edifying through the Spirit, you know. Hey, prepare yourself. 2022 is going to be a mad year, man. A year like you've never seen before because these devils they have no much time they have an agenda in which they have to follow and they are running out of time in 2025 they actually have the plan of getting everybody all uh, vanessed you know 
So they're actually running fast to this thing. By 2025, they, they want everything ready, you know? So they're going to push the, 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 the Vanessa, they're going to push the MOTB. They start pushing the MOTB from 2022, you know? And hopefully we're going to be out of here before the end of 2022, Yahaba Shemiel Atazar, you know? No, this Amal. year, this year actually was the year of hastening the truth, you know, and it was through the spirit that the elder apostle Taha said this, because you know the gospel has actually spread through this uh, declaration that he made, you know, the year of hastening the truth. You know, brothers has been, you know, working, you know, doing videos most especially every day, you know, getting this gospel all around the place. So this gospel has actually gotten to the extremities of the earth, you know. Now we are hoping for the return of Yahweh Shai because in the book of um. In the book of um, um, is it the book of um, Second Thessalonians? He said this gospel. Matthew. Oh, sorry, the book of Matthew twenty-four. Matthew. He says, "This, he shall, gospel. this gospel shall be preached in all the earth. Then the end shall come." Yeah. You know, so you know. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakodash. A uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth which is the 100% truth, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing his gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. You know, on to the next one, Shalom. Shalom. Abad Babal. Babal. PTA.